Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome in to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. Rick, a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Uh, you want to learn more? Go to the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. I'm Mark Kelly. Glad you're with us today. Here's the deal. Safeguard is here to help guide you as it pertains to your retirement, help you create your very own big picture blueprint, income, investment, taxes, healthcare, legacy planning, social security decisions, Medicare decisions. It's all there, but everybody's situation is unique. And that's how Rick and the team look at it. How can they help you? And if they say they can help you, which they might, they might say, hey, look, you've done a great job. You don't need us at all. Go ahead and retire. Or they might say, yeah, we're not a very good fit, which could be the same situation for you and Safeguard. It's got to be a good fit for both of you because this is a long-term relationship. 800-700-1980. If you'd just like to find out where you are, I think I've got enough. I hope I've got enough. I don't really know. This is a great time to call because there's no cost to you. There's no obligation. There's no pressure. Call Rick Rivera and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory. Find out where you are. I think it's a great opportunity. 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. Rick, how are you? Oh, real good, Mark. Doing very well. Thank you so much. How you doing? Good, good, good. And I thought we'd start with Dave Ramsey. Now, I think we all know who Dave Ramsey is. Very successful businessman. Very good advice, I think, when it comes to debt and trying to get out of debt. I think we'd all love to be debt free. So I'm on board with that. I think I like that idea. Now, Rick, here's my question for you, though. Would Dave Ramsey be my source for my retirement strategies with my portfolio? Because here's what he has said recently he said he is perfectly comfortable withdrawing 8%. The old rule of thumb used to be four. Dave's going 8% from his retirement accounts each year as long as he is making 12% and inflation remains closer to four. Now, if you could guarantee that scenario every year, you probably could pull 8% as long as you're making 12 in the market and inflation is no more than four. That is a possibility. That's just not the scenario I would trust my retirement portfolio to, should I? Oh, absolutely not. And it's it's interesting because you got to put everything in, in, into context. And I'm not sure what context he, he put that figure into, but there is no way. I mean, I've been doing this for well over two decades that we would plan someone's retirement based on a 12% return. And, you know, the other thing too, is, you know, he said, as long as it makes 12%, uh, I, I noticed that in those words, which is as long as it makes 12%, what if, let's say that market is down 10 or 12% and now he still needs to draw his 12% on top of that. Now he's down over 20 you know, how, so how does he account? How does he bob and weave? How does he adjust? So I think that if you plan your, your income based on a perfect world scenario that you're making 12% rate of return and then things go south on you, what is the game plan to adjust and recover from that? Because if the market's down, you know, 10%, 15%, you can't exactly call, you know, the electric company, the phone company, you know, the property tax collector and say, hey, listen, can I put you off? until the market rebounds again, because, you know, uh, Dave Ramsey told me I could pull 12% out of my investments. So you got it. So, so the way we structure things is, Hey, listen, we need to plan for the worst case scenario. So that way, if it does occur, we know you're going to be okay. If the best case scenario happens and the market does 12% each and every year, well, wonderful. You know, we don't need, I, I, I don't need to worry about that. I know you're going to be okay under that situation. So there's never been a scenario Unless, I don't know, maybe somebody's 95 years old and only got a few more years left to live where they're, you know, playing their retirement off of 12%. But there's never been a scenario where over a long period of time, we, we plan somebody's income at a 12% uh, rate of return. This was his advice on his show. He said, and this was back in early November, and he said, researchers who advise sticking with a lower withdrawal rate like Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisor Group, <laughs> must be a super nerd who lives in his mother's basement with a calculator. You know that's, what? That's the challenge. I, that it's where you get your advice and who you believe, I think. Well, 100%. And here, here's at the end of the day, you know, you, you get your advice and you decide what's going to allow you to sleep at night. 
So yeah, there's nothing wrong with, you know, let's say, you know, those the people are listening to a show right now, there's nothing wrong with getting, you know, a couple of different opinions, a few different opinions on the best strategy for you. But once you have the, you know, let's say you go, you know, you get Dave Ramsey's strategy, you get our strategy and somebody else's strategy, you need to sit down, you and your spouse, look at the strategies and say, which strategy actually allows me to sleep at night? And at the end of the day, if it's the nerd guy, great, go with him. If it's the uh, sexy guy, great, then go with him. So ultimately, everybody, you know, is different. But I would say for most of our clients, or I should say really for all of our clients, if they're clients of ours, they've already won the comfortable retirement. They're really looking to make sure that that, that money is preserved and is going to last. They're not looking to make 15, 20% return in the market. It'd be nice, but that's not going to change it. their lifestyle. Right. They don't need it. And that's that's yeah. really the situation. Do you know? Because when you think about it, when during your working years, you're thinking about the rate of return. What what rate of return am I getting on my money? Is it worth the risk I'm taking? When you get to retirement, it's now not so much. You still want a rate of return, but it's really about the rate of income. You need the income to be able to retire. If you'd like to talk more about this with Rick and the team at Safeguard, give them a call. There's no cost. 800-700-1980. And as you come to the end of a year and head into a new year, might be a great time to rebalance your portfolio as well. You, you may not even know where you are. Uh, it's an opportunity, I think, for Rick and the team to really help give you some clarity into your situation. And there's no cost. 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. And I think you said it, Rick. There's no question. For most people getting ready to retire, there are a couple of really big questions, right? Have I saved enough? And will my money last as long as we need it to? Another important question to consider, I think, is a more difficult one, is how do I know where to withdraw from first, second, third, fourth, and so on? Withdrawal strategies are a big part of what you do for people. Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, that's part of all of the game planning is creating the investments and structuring them in a certain way where we know, okay, listen, there's a certain segment of our money that is going to be designed for different aspects of what we're trying to, to achieve. So let's just say, for example, somebody's retiring. We know, listen, one of the, the, the major factors is keeping up with inflation, getting a fair rate of return. We also need to make sure that we have a guaranteed income that's coming in. We also need to make sure that we have, you know, money for emergencies and things of that nature. So, you know, it takes a variety of different investments or different strategies to achieve that. So, you know, there's money that's going to be earmarked for specifically keeping up with inflation growth purposes. There would be a bucket of money earmarked and, and strategize for creating income, but income that cannot be outlived. So if the worst case scenario happens, we'll be okay. And then there's, you know, money that is strategized for emergencies. So for example, if the market is down, we're in a situation where we're like, hey, listen, you know what? The money that I have in the market, I don't need that money to live on. I can let the interest and dividends buy me more shares at cheaper prices. I can reallocate if necessary. I can let it do what it's supposed to do, the long-term growth strategies. As a matter of fact, we even have strategies that when the market's down, we can actually leverage Roth conversions even more efficiently. So we allow it to do what it's supposed to do during down times because our income is coming from a different source that allows us to be able to sleep at night because our income is coming from a different source. So the income money is actually protecting our growth money. Now, of course, if you have an emergency, you know, you may be in a situation where you're like, okay, well, listen, I don't want to pull it from my market investments right now because the market is down and um, I don't want to pull it from my income investments because then that would reduce my income. I don't want to do that. So then we have, a, you know, a money geared for emergencies. And then that way, if we have that, that money is now structured to protect your income and also the growth factor. And then of course, to growth when the market's doing well, you know, we can use that to then shuffle monies around again into other buckets to increase income, or if we spend some of the emergency money down to, to replenish that bucket. So, so it's really strategizing in such a way that each pile of money, I should say, has its specific purpose, its specific duty, its job. Okay, so before we wrap up this segment, we've got more to come, so stay with us. 800-700-1980 uh, is the number, 800-700-1980. Can you maybe take a couple minutes to tell us what, I mean, I think a lot of people go, well, all right, it's Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. It's all about money. Or what, what's going to happen when I come in there? Oh, Rick's just going to try to sell me something. Can you tell us kind of what happens when somebody does call 800-700-1980? 
Yeah, the first thing is is that uh, number one, we can offer you just a, a free consultation where you can come in. Or we can even do a Zoom meeting if that's easier for you. But you know, I've been doing this long enough that if you give me forty five minutes of your time, I can guarantee you I'll just give you two ideas that will enhance what you're doing. But what we do in that meeting is we're really just gathering data, figuring what your goals, what your objectives are, and then we'll, we'll look at the taxes, we'll look at your income, we'll look at your expenses, and a variety of other things. And then during that meeting, we can let you know, hey, listen, we think there's some possibilities where you might be able to enhance certain areas, whether it's maximizing social security, maximizing your pensions, maybe minimizing taxes, whether or not you're a Roth conversion uh, candidate. And the list goes on and on. Some of you that are, you know, have special needs children, maybe you're trying to maximize what you're leaving to the children. So there's a variety of areas that we'll look at and we'll be able to let you know within 45 minutes, here's some areas that you may want to consider um, at least addressing and then you can go home, think about it, decide if, if you want to uh, move on further. But at least during that 45 minutes, we can definitely give you some two ideas that will enhance whatever it is that you're doing. It will not cost you a penny and nothing sold, no products are mentioned, leave your checkbooks and all that behind. Which is a great opportunity when you think about it to get some some clarity really into your retirement picture for no cost with a team that works in the retirement planning world. Uh, sure, they can help you in the market. You need stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. They can help guide you there. Insurance, tools, annuities, life insurance. You want to create your own pension? You can certainly do that as well. But there's a lot of moving parts and everybody's situation is unique. Remember, it's your retirement. It's your hopes and dreams. It's your money. If you want the team's help and they can help, then you can say, ah, boy, I appreciate it. You gave me a lot of great ideas. I think we're going to go our own way. Or, hey, what a great idea, Rick. I think we'd really love to partner with you, help guide us a little bit. I'd love being able to enjoy my retirement, not worry about all the X's and O's. That's fantastic. We don't know until you reach out. It's 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. No cost, no obligation, no pressure. I think it's one of the more important phone calls you can make with no obligation to you and no cost. You can't beat that. Let's find out where you are. Can I retire? Do I have enough? Will my money last? Uh, we're going to be okay if we retire. 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. Back with more of the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group right after this. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. I'm Mark Elliott. Glad you're with us. Rick, a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Again, you can find out more on the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. Questions, can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Do I have enough? Are we going to be okay? All those kind of concerns that we may have, 800-700-1980. And Rick always says, give him 45 minutes and he will guarantee that he will give you two ideas that will enhance whatever it is you're currently doing. And there's no cost for this. So pretty simple. And there's no cost to find out. 800-700-1980. All right, we're going to go kind of look at some of the, the stories of 2023, if you will. And this is kind of a fun little thing. A quick look at some of the A-list actors and athletes who announced their retirement in 2023. Of course, in my mind, being a sports guy, the biggest one is that Tom Brady actually retired for real this time in 2023. Uh, Miguel Cabrera. Great, great baseball player. Retired after a 21-year career in the Major League Baseball organizations. Tigers most recently, I think. Uh, actor Michael Caine says he is retiring at the age of 90, and he's a British actor, two-time Oscar winner. And he said, you know, I, I keep saying I'm going to retire. Well, I am now. The only parts I'm liable to get now are a, for a 90-year-old man, or maybe I could pass for 85. So I thought, well, <laughs> might as well leave with all this. So that's kind of fun. Uh, here's some I want to see if you even realize this, Rick. Celebrities that turn 65 in 2023, which means they are eligible for what? Medicare. Medicare. Social Security. Not that they may need it, but right, you know, right, right. they are. Ellen DeGeneres. Mm -hmm. Michelle Pfeiffer. Love Michelle Pfeiffer. Drew Carey. Kevin Bacon. Madonna. And Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm. Did you ever watch Halloween with Jamie Lee as a youngster? I think I was maybe in high school when that came out. It was a scary you know, movie. I, yeah, you know what? I don't, I, I'm sure I did. I just don't remember it. You know, it was such a long time ago. What about the movie True Lies with her and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, oh yes, that of course. That was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, fantastic. Yeah. But all those folks are 65, which means they are one year older than I am. How about that? Uh, 
Now, while athletes tend to retire much earlier, celebrities, actors, they can go a little bit longer, obviously. Mm. Uh, but what about politicians? There is no end date for them, right? No. Um, you think in California, Diane Feinstein, God rest her soul, uh, she's still working at 90. Yeah. Holy cow. These, these Congress folks and senators, uh, it's kind of crazy. More than 50 U.S. senators are at least the age of 65 right now. Mm -hmm. The average senatorial retirement age is 71. Are you in favor of term limits? But I think it would oh, take some time. I think it would take time to figure out this whole federal government, all of that. So maybe three terms, maybe, but not 40 years, I think. Yeah, no, 100% I'm in favor of term limits. I mean, uh, without any question. I, I mean, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole on this one, but <laughs> uh, for sure, I would I would definitely be in favor of term limits. Hey, and I will say this. I don't think it's ever really about age. It's about mental acuity and how sharp you are. Can you still do the job? That's probably part of it as well. But we also spent a lot of time, Rick, this year talking about government shutdowns, right? We had two of those, I think, this year where they, they did shut it down once. And the I think the U.S. credit rating dropped twice this year. We're still good credit, but not as outstanding as we used to be. Those kind of things, and a lot of that is because of our debt. I mean, do we really care that we're almost $34 trillion in debt? That doesn't affect me, though, does it, Rick? <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's interesting. I, I actually read a, um, a statistic that said that by 2053, the interest payments are, you know, on our debt are projected to surge to $5.4 trillion, which is more than the U.S. government spends on Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare, and defense. So that, that number was mind-boggling to me. So when you say, hey, you know what, does, is this really going to affect me? You know, the question that you have to ask is, number one, where's the government going to get this money to pay it back? So what are the odds of them reducing taxes under an environment like that? If anything, you know, most of the clients that I talk to, they're, they're actually anticipating that the government is going to raise taxes. And how is that going to change your situation? Not only raise taxes, but what if they try to increase the amount that you have to pull out of your IRAs each year at 73? You know, there's a certain number you have to pull out now, but maybe they decide, hey, listen, we're going to increase those numbers. Or maybe we're going to increase taxation on Social Security, your pensions, and all the, all the rest of it. So since there's a lot of unknowns going on in the future, what we've been doing now with our clients is we've actually been game planning for it. We're game planning that the government is going to raise taxes and trying to put our clients in a situation that if they do, it at least minimizes the effects on them or eliminates the effects on them. Puts, basically, what we want to try to do is put our clients in the driver's seat. So that way, if they do raise taxes in order to uh, accommodate for being in such great debt, our clients are in a position that will be, okay, you know what? I don't need to worry about it as much because I've already prepared for it. Rather than you just assuming best case scenario and be like, oh, okay, well, it's not going to affect me. Do nothing about it. Take, you know, at least not even consider doing anything about it. And then when the time happens and now they're raising taxation on your social security, requiring you to pull more out of your, your IRAs, increasing income taxes, maybe property taxes, who knows what they're going to do. Now you're behind the eight ball. So 100%, it, it definitely can affect you. Maybe they even drop, uh, you know, government subsidies or whatever else they're going to do. So we definitely have to address that without question. So here's the deal. Rick and the team at Safeguard are going to certainly, along with you, hope for the best, right? But the idea is plan for the worst just in case so that you're not blindsided by it, that you've got an opportunity. I don't think any of us want Washington and Wall Street to dictate our retirement. We want to dictate our retirement. Well, Rick and the team at Safeguard are here to help guide you if you would like that. 800-700-1980. No cost to you again. 800-700-1980. And you think about it. We're almost $34 trillion in debt as a nation. And if you had $1 trillion in $1 bills, Rick, do you realize that it would be more than 67,000 miles long and would stretch nearly three times around the Earth's equator? And that's $1 trillion. That's not 33 or $34 trillion where we are. And if you counted 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, it would take you over 30,000 years 
to get to one trillion? And my guess is you have no clients that have one trillion dollars. Is that fair to say? Oh, that's a very fair statement. Very good guess on your part. You could help them immensely, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't have a trillion dollars, I suggest you give us a call. We can definitely give you some guidance. And if you do have a trillion dollars, you're definitely going to need some tax planning. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have that much. It doesn't even matter. Doesn't even yeah. matter. So yeah. you know, you think about it though. We also. To be serious, we do know that the 2017 Tax Cuts Jobs Act does end in 2025. And this kind of goes back to the tax situation where because of the debt, we, we and you can check it out, usdebtclock.org, we're pretty confident taxes are going up. And in the 2017 Tax Cuts Jobs Act ends in 2025. 2026, in theory, we're going back to the 2017 rates and brackets, which means very easily somebody can go from tw not make any more money, go from 22% taxes to 28. That's very realistic, isn't it? 100%. Not only that, to make matters worse, you could have a situation where you have a husband and wife, one spouse passes away, the surviving spouse's income can end up being taxed more. And let me just give you a quick scenario that a lot of people tend to overlook and don't even realize until the situation occurs. Let's say you have a spouse that, um, a married couple they're both collecting social security. One spouse passes away. We know we're going to lose one of those social security checks. So now income goes down. We know what direction inflation is going. Inflation is consistently going up. But now once we go from filing a joint and we become single, automatically social security is taxed at a lower level. So now our social security is going to be taxed at a lower level. We, we um, lose a standard deduction and our marginal rates actually go up because if you ever look at a tax table, just you know, for the listeners that are listening to the show right now, if you have a married couple making fifty thousand and you have a single person making fifty thousand, when you look at the tax table, the single person automatically pays more in tax. They're in a higher marginal tax bracket. So how unlucky is it for someone that doesn't do their planning that they, they lose a spouse, income goes down, and literally we've seen it where income goes down and taxes go up. So. By seeing somebody like us that specializes in retirement planning, we can lay things out to you so that way, or at least make you aware of things we've seen individuals go through that are in retirement, so that way you get caught by no surprises. You understand and know exactly what to expect in retirement and what the potential pitfalls are, and then you can at least decide to address them rather than being caught by the eight ball. If you decide, hey, listen, something doesn't pertain to you or it doesn't fit your situation, fine, that's great. At least you're made aware of it, as opposed to never being made aware of it at all, and then something occurs, and now you're in a bad spot. Now, now you're, you maybe you have to sell the home when you really don't want to, or make adjustments in your budget when you really don't want to and, and have to downsize when maybe you really don't want to. So this is where the planning process is so important. So if you have concerns or questions at all, just give us a call 800-700-1980. And we're happy to give you that consultation. No cause, no obligation, leave your checkbooks and all that behind. And within 45 minutes, like I said before, I'll give you two ideas to enhance whatever it is that you're doing. 800-700-1980. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual's situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC.